boom! Here we are. Flying. Hey, hush! Oh, wait a minute. Get out of here, that thing. The Flying Can Ranch at Cedar Creek, Lake Texas. Bringing this to you, and it's a nice balmy 28 degrees out here. So, we had this really wild weather where it's like you ride a motorcycle one day and, and uh, bundle up the next day. So, moving right along. We're going to have a nice, fun game of weekend. You know, a while back I did what I called a crossing weekend. I, I reviewed a couple of cross ones. Well, I got, whoop, three game -os. Really two, but we'll call it three. But it's really two. But neither mind. Last week, I was just stumbling around, and I happened to stop in at, at uh, Academy Sports, and I saw this thing, and I said, what? Never heard of it. So, we're going to share it with you, and then I'll tell you a few things that I that I figured out down the line. Let me get something off here that looks kind of tasty. At any rate, look what we got here. So, number one, number one game we're going to do. Right here it is. This is the Gamo Form Hornet 10X. We'll bring it on down the line. Check out that back little bad piece on the end of the barrel. We'll bring it back this way. Show you that right there. Come on down. And uh, over here. Pretty much the same thing on the other side. It's, uh, come on down, come on down, come on down, come on down, come on down. And sink. So what do we got? Well, again, it's the game old swarm hornet. In 20 in uh, 10x in 22 caliber, so they say this thing pops off at about 970 feet per second. I like it. It weighs. I don't know where they came up with this, but it weighs 6.01 pounds. The overall length is going to be 44.5 inches, and uh, the barrel is going to come in. At, I had to measure it up myself. It's going to come in at about probably 18 inches. I'm guessing. I measured it off there. And we have a, uh, well, we'll just start from the back and go forward. So this actually came with a 4x32 uh, scope. I went ahead and uh, slapped this Manus on her. This is the one I was going to return, but I, I dropped it on some higher scope mounts, and it's working beautifully. Uh, it does have an adjustable trigger. Oh, hold on, hold on. This dog's going to drive me crazy. Hey, you didn't want to play with this thing yesterday. So you take care of that so it does have an adjustable trigger and it is a manual safety so we're gonna kind of start from the back so like all game o's uh it's got a nice rubber butt pad to it very comfortable very solid composite stock now it's it's uh sort of that thumb hole design some people like them some people don't i find it very comfortable i'm a left-handed shooter um and then uh, this rail thing came with it that you mount to the gun and then you mount the scope to the rail. So I believe that's supposed to absorb some of the shock that goes up to your scope. And then we'll come on down the line. You got your standard uh, magazine that just pops out, load it up, and pop it back in. And then you got that piece right down here in the end. Now, this particular gun is uh, pretty quiet, and it's really lightweight. The one thing I like about it, it's very lightweight, and it's extremely easy to cock. So, for youngsters or for women folk, it ain't as busty as us men. But, uh, at any rate, it's uh, very user-friendly. For me, it, it really does, you know, come right up on the hand very quickly. And this is the kind of thing I think that... Uh, uh, if you're into hunting, you could carry it around for quite a while. It's not a real heavy thing. I'm working currently with my um, Ruger. You can really tell the difference. You know, my little 177 Ruger. But uh, this is very light, very comfortable. Um, it's, it's, it's a rubber feeling stock. It doesn't really have any stippling along here. Um, but I, I don't feel it trying to slide or get away from me. So, you know, it, it, the whole stock is that way. Got a little built-in cheap piece right here. 
and I just stumbled across this again. I've never even heard of it before. I I looked it up on uh, Air Gun Depot, and I looked it up on uh, <coughs> Pyramid Air. They don't have it. Uh, I did find an Academy uh, Sports uh, web page. Um, I also found it in eBay. Now I'm being honest with you, man. I slapped this thing for about 149 bucks right out of the box with the scope and. I found cats on eBay asking $2.99 to like some some people are asking pretty close to 400 bucks. So um, you know you might want to you're interested get on there with Academy Sports see if you can get one ordered in or help to ship it directly to you. So I wanted to share that with you this morning. Just a little a little bit warmer. I'll go ahead and come out here. We'll put together a shooting video. I've already shot this gun, and I absolutely think it's fantastic. And I think you will, too. So, again, the Game of Swarm Hornet in 22 caliber. And uh, we're going to see what it does a little bit later. So, that's how we do it at the Flying Can Ranch. Whoop, 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 boom, later.